Overton, located on the southern side of Wrexham, is home to one of the seven wonders of Wales. That wonder can be found on St Mary's Church grounds and is a collection of more than 22 yew trees that literally are surrounding the church. Their rich evergreen foliage and the church tower stand out from the rest of the village and attract visitors. The ewes of Britain are regarded as amongst the oldest living plants in Europe. Wales has the highest concentration of old ewes, with over 40 trees that can be classified as ancient, which is probably the largest collection of ancient ewes in the world. Age estimation of old ewes is very hard due to their unusual and chaotic growth pattern. Split or broken trunks, growths, hollows, absence of the oldest wood to carbon date, lack of treeing sequence and other features can distort measurement. That is why opinions of experts are divided. Part of them thinks that the oldest ewes are 600 years old at most. Others think that they can be anywhere between 3,000 and 9,000 years old. But most of the specialists in this field agree that the ancient ewes can be at least 600 and possibly well over 1,000 years old. Out of so many ewes located in this churchyard, only one can be considered as truly ancient. An iron railing surrounds it for protection. Four yew props are supporting one of the fragments. All of the sections of the tree are connected with metal clamps and rods to prevent them from further pulling apart. Radiocarbon dating indicates that the ancient tree is between 400 and 650 years old, but carbon dating of yew trees might not be very accurate, mainly because of the hollowing process. In most of the ancient yews, the oldest part of the tree simply no longer exists. Thus, there is no original material to test. The Forester R.T. Wheeler further proves that carbon dating yews can be misleading as he estimates the age of the tree to be between 750 and 1,000 years of age. The second tree that might be considered equally important is the youngest tree in the churchyard. Planted by the Queen herself in 1992 during village celebrations of the 700th anniversary of being granted a royal character by Edward I, the young tree proudly grows among 22 other ewes. The main reasons for planting yew trees in churchyards are, or could be, placing yew trees amongst the most important plants in Christian and pre-Christian history as an emblem of immortality, defending the church buildings from high winds, cultivating the tradition, supplying bowwood for famous Welsh bowmen, preventing their leaves from injuring cattle, providing physical shelter at times of burial, serving as a marker in the landscape, and using yews and their branches in ritual funerary and burial practices. Although the foliage of yew trees, when cut and withered, is particularly toxic and very dangerous for both humans and livestock, recent studies in the medical field are indicating that the foliage of taxa species, European yew, can have beneficial effects and is undergoing extensive trial in the cancer research. People realised how special and important yew trees are literally ages ago. Whole generations cared for them and protected them in many different ways. Starting from building walls and iron railings around them and ending in putting monetary values on them. 
currently in this particular wonder of Wales, located in the beautiful village of Overton, is protected by a preservation order, and we too must respect and take care of these great living monuments and their surroundings, so that they can be part of churchyard scenes for many more years to come.